the average fish keeper has a choice when they purchase a fish, where that fish has come from, where their money from the purchase of that fish goes, and where you choose to put your money and where you choose to source your fish from has a definite impact on this planet and on lots of other people's lives in the supply chain of those fish coming to you. You can buy a fish and save a tree by choosing to buy fish that come from fisheries that support forest conservation, that your purchase is going towards supporting the livelihood of someone who is now curating the forest because their life depends on it or their source of income depends on it. Their source of income is protected when the forest is protected. My name is Jackie Anderson and I'm here um, to talk about Project Piava. We're a nonprofit 501c3 corporation. We're entirely volunteer run and what we do is we work to foster sustainable home aquarium fish fisheries that drive conservation in the areas where the fish are native to. Hey this is Tanner of Surfer Design and you're watching River Life. It's just mind blowing. You're not going to believe every, every body, everything that's here. Hundreds of vendors, thousands of people. It's all happening right here at Aquashella, 29 Chicago, Illinois. I want to thank you guys in advance for tolerating some audio issues. The noise level, the ambient noise level on the floor at Aquashella was insane. Uh, even in post, I wasn't able to clean it up very much, so I appreciate your tolerance listening to some of that background noise as I'm trying to get some world-class information from some world-class and professional representatives. And even now, as I'm recording the, the outro and the intro for this edited video, We've got rain for the first time in three months, it seems like. And I'm just competing for an opportunity against uh, man and nature to get some good audio. So thanks, thanks for all your support. Thanks for checking out this video. Thank you, Jason at Primetime Aquatics for my sweet new shirt. It was good to see you at Aquashella. Aquashella, so cool, so many cool people there including my friend Haley from Oddball Aquatics. Always good to see her. She's such a great sport. It was so awesome to hang out with the volunteers from Project Piava. I'd met Jackie a couple of years prior to Aquatic Experience. It was good to meet Tori. I've been in talks and emails with Scott Dow, the director of Project Piava, leading up to Aquashella. And, um, you know, I remembered the first time I talked to these guys about the impact Project Piava was having in the in, uh, in the fish industry and in the rainforest, in the American fish hobby and the rainforest, I, I remember being shocked. I remember I was so shocked when I learned that Project Piava was pushing this idea of wild caught fish. We all know wild caught is bad, right? So I engaged Scott, and he was so patient, he started telling me about the steps and the years of research and the generations of fishery techniques that have been used by the native people. And my mind was just blown. I was, I was blown away. So I kept learning more. That was Aquatic Experience 2017. I kept looking uh, for information on Project Piava, getting the same story from everybody, it seemed to be adding up. This was a legit effort. Then, then I learned, you know, 27 years of research, five generations of indigenous people using the Rio Negro primarily as a fishery to supply our hobby. I guess I was really bound to my traditional thought. <laughs> I didn't want to let go of my ignorance. I'd been involved in captive animals for over 50 years and just solidly believe that we need to be promoting captive breeding and husbandry before importation and I immediately thought this is bad for the animals and uh, this is this is part of a corporate scheme for someone to to, to make some money they're just promoting uh, a, a, an organization they're promoting an organization to make some money None of that's true. Project Piava is a fully volunteer organization, not formally funded, and they do care about the rainforest, conservation, the fish in our hobby, our hobby, and they're helping all those things. They're having a positive impact on all of those things. So it was very interesting to have my whole paradigm just shift 
so quickly centered around the idea of wild caught fish. And I guess I just couldn't, I needed help understanding that you could sustainably harvest fish from the wild, especially in a delicate ecosystem like the Amazon rainforest. And Scott Dowd and Project Piaba and now Jackie and Tori have helped me come to realize that that's in fact what's been going on for decades. And my ignorance of what was happening didn't change the fact that it was happening and that it was having a positive impact. So I'm glad those guys were patient with me and took time to explain all of the details. Any question I had, they were happy to answer. And it's just a, it's a wonderful organization. My name is Tori Babson, and I am the Assistant Director of Education at Project Piaba. Project Piaba is important to me because it combines conservation with the environment and the humans that live in that environment. Um, so not just the humans, not just the animals or the life that lives there, but both of them together. We are a wholesaler. We're the largest wholesaler in the nation of tropical fish, and we heavily support Project Piapa because it's incredibly important. You need sustainably collected wild as well as tank-raised fish because it's just going to be so important to where we keep that going. Project Piaba doesn't buy the fish, doesn't sell the fish, but what we do is we work throughout various stages of the supply chain to help improve any of the issues that happen within the fishery. Um, so we make sure that the fishery, the wild-caught fisheries of the Rio Negro that have that positive beneficial impact on the environment are competitive on a global scale with captive raised fish and fish that are produced that don't necessarily have that impact. Project Piaba works in a lot of different places. Um, most of our poster child for Project Piaba is in the Rio Negro, which is the largest tributary of the Amazon. We also are working on expanding the project to work in other places where the fish are interesting to people as fish keepers, are sustainable, as in can be caught without negatively impacting the environment, but also will have the benefit of providing conservation to the areas where those fish come from. We have over 6,000 holding tanks, and we actually have a special section just for Project Piaba. The fish are even labeled Piaba. As a retailer, you can actually click on the website and shop from the Piaba section, so you know if you're ordering a cardinal, it's going to come from Colombia or Piaba. Not only is this a low impact on the population of fish, but it's actually a zero impact on the population of fish. So during the rainy season, the water levels rise a whole bunch, and then as soon as the dry season comes, that water level drops. So all those fish that have now reproduced and made a whole bunch of babies, there's nowhere for them to be, there's not enough food for them to eat, they dry out in ponds, and they die. So all the fish that are collected are essentially fish that would be doomed and not going to make it through that season anyway, so it's actually a zero impact fishery. One of my favorite things about Project Piaba fishes is that they're, they lend themselves so well to home aquariums because they're generally small, they're generally colorful, and they generally have interesting, amazing behaviors. There are lots of ways to learn more about Project Piaba. You can visit us on our website, which is projectpiaba.org. You can check us out on Facebook or Instagram. Um, there are lots of ways to get involved. I would say the biggest way is to start asking questions when you're buying fish. Start asking where has this fish come from um, and thinking about it in terms of where um, the money that we spend as consumers is going um, and, and things like that, like where your impact as a person is going when you purchase something. So you would want to be asking the person that you're buying your fish from where it's come from. Um, and so that's really important. We want people to be talking about Project Piaba. We want people to be recognizing that wild-caught fisheries can have a very positive, beneficial impact on the environment. Because a lot of people hear wild-caught and they think it's kind of a dirty word. You know, they think, oh, that must be bad for the environment. That must hurt the environment. So we want wild-caught fish to be not the dirty word. We want you to think about it in terms of how can it help. Um, Project Piaba also does a yearly expedition where we bring people down to the Amazon to experience the supply chain of um, aquarium fish from where they're caught in the villages that are fishing for home aquarium fish to the transfer stations where they're sold to to the exporters where they are then exported from Brazil. Um, and it's a really cool trip where people get to see the entire experience of the fish from, from where it is when it's swimming around in the wild to 
everything that happens to it before it comes to your tank. You can learn more about our expedition on our website, projectpiaba.org. Your purchases as a consumer can help you have a positive impact on the environment and on conservation by purchasing wild-caught fish from the Rio Negro. Aquarium fish catchers in the Rio Negro, have the fishery itself has existed since the 1950s. The people that we work with are the grandchildren and great-grandchildren of the original aquarium fish collectors. The thing is, however, that this um, the fishery itself has changed over those past decades and now a lot of those same species of fish are available captive raised and produced in places other than where they come from and those fish that are produced in other places do not have the same environmental impact as the ones that are caught from the Rio Negro, the ones that are um, caught by people who live there who are now incentivized to protect the environment because it is their source of livelihood. Project Piaba is a nonprofit 501c3 corporation and we are entirely volunteer run. All of us have day jobs. All of us work on this project in our spare time. Project Piaba has a core of a handful of volunteers and a lot others who are more peripheral liaisons with us. Project Piaba partners with national fish keeping conventions because we believe that you cannot, um, you cannot have the positive impact of this fishery without fish keepers. We want people to be interested in fish keeping and a lot of times there are a lot of negative thoughts on keeping animals in captivity, but we want people to realize that this can actually be an important driver of environmental conservation and stewardship in the areas where these animals are. are caught and that they can actually help the environment. People can help Project Piaba by connecting with us in various ways. You can try our website, you can try our, our social media, um, but also more importantly we want you talking about wild caught fisheries and talking about wild caught fish where you purchase your fish and with your friends. Um, you can also donate money to us on our website. You can join us on an expedition. Um, there are various ways to get involved. We're always seeking volunteers. The YouTube community can help Project Piaba by promoting us, by talking about us. Please certainly get in touch with us. Um, one of the things that we would like to be better at is sharing our story because we have about 27 years of science dedicated to Project Piaba, to proving that it's sustainable, to proving that it's beneficial and that it has a wonderful economic impact on the people who live in these biologically important areas. And we want your help in sharing this story with everyone else. So one of our new exciting things that we have going on at Project Piaba is we have a new aquarium tank kit um, that we've developed with Aquion. And with this kit, this is a rainforest conservation kit, so it's built for black water. So you can set up, you can recreate a Rio Negro biotope in your home with a home aquarium kit. Um, and when you purchase the kit, you can receive a $25 coupon for the purchase of Rio Negro fish which are supplied by Seagrass Farms. Project Piaba is one of my favorite organizations because we are connecting people to conservation in a real world way. So now I'm happy to be on board as an influencer for Project Piaba. I think it's very important that we spread the word. And that's why I'm doing this video. I'm giving you the first-hand information from the Project Piaba volunteers and from their material that's been compiled over 27 years of research and I just I want you to have the opportunity to know that they are fostering a sustainable wild fish harvest and that it is improving our hobby and the rainforest and the people that are indigenous to the rainforest as well as aquarium fish keepers and the fish hobby so there are some things that are coming up right around the corner there's a movie about Project Piaba. There's a special rainforest conservation kit aquarium that's about to be launched. So there's it, it's the right time to learn about it. Let's all get up to speed about Project Piaba and enjoy and share the wonderful things that they're doing in our hobby. Learn how they're doing it. If you've got questions, reach out to them. Uh, give Leave a comment below if you've got a question about Project Piaba and I'll answer it as soon as I can. If I don't know, I'll reach out to uh, Project Piaba and I'm sure those guys would love to share with you um, answers to any of your questions. If you happen to make it to an aquarium convention, 
aquatic experience is coming up and not only will Project Piaba be there with the booth but they're giving away an expedition to the Rio Negro so you can be on the boat going out into the shallows with the native uh, fishermen and women and you can just watch how they do it with their hand nets and their paddle they kind of corral the fish into the net and uh, it's I would like to go see that one day. That's fascinating. They're going to give away a trip to Rio Negro. They're giving away an expedition, the Project Piaba Expedition. You have to do a video. The details are um, going to be there at Aquatic Experience. You have to be at Aquatic Experience to participate. Uh, otherwise, you can learn more about Project Piaba by asking me a question. Let me get back to you. I didn't think collecting fish from the wild was a good idea. And it took several conversations with Scott and the volunteer staff there at Project Java for me to get my head wrapped right around it. I, I was clinging on to my traditional thoughts. And it was new information for my buffet. My buffet of consideration was expanded. And the more I learned about it, the more I understood that the greater good was in harvesting sustainably these wild caught fish. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know someone else who might like it, send it on down the line. That's how the channel grows. Till the next one, get out there and see it, love it, and live it.